Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and it's the weekend focus reading for the week beginning March 18. So Gemini, um, in the position of energies leaving, competing or transitioning, this week we've got the Five of Cups and it came out with the Five of Wands. Focus energy this week is the Emperor, and then you have the Six of Pentacles coming in at the end of the week. So guys, um, in your recent past, it looks like you've been feeling a sense of loss or grief um, and focusing on those as well. So you can see the character in the card here is, you know, and it looks like a very mournful figure shrouded in the black cloak and she looks at the three overturned cups and really focusing on those losses. But what she doesn't realize is that there's actually two perfectly um, okay, fine, beautiful standing cups or opportunities right behind her. So I think when um, the Five of Cups comes in, it's, you know, it's it's an indicator to focus on what you do have rather than focusing on things you may have lost. And it's about sort of, you know, getting out of that mindset of not seeing, not seeing the forest for the trees. So, you know, if you focus on the trees, you don't see that they're part of a greater, beautiful forest, which is, you know, orchestrated by nature. So, you know, what, what losses are you focusing on which is stopping you from seeing the bigger picture and seeing the universe's bigger plan for you? Because there's always a silver lining. There's always, every time a cup is spilled, you know, there's or an opportunity is lost, there's always another one coming in. And it's right here and it's waiting to come in. Um, it looks like whatever the situation was, um, it's causing you, it's causing you quite a, quite a great amount of strife or conflict, tension, it could be sort of actually physically manifested tension as in fighting or quarreling with a partner or a colleague um, or a family member or it could also be that you've internalized that feeling and you're feeling in an, um, an inner sense of battle with yourself. Being um, double number five energy here in numerology just um, basically reinforces this even more so it's likely that you're feeling this quite powerfully, this feeling. Um, but five is also the number of change and being in the position of energies completing it looks like um, you're ready to to move on and take the transition away from this energy um, so for your focus energy this week you have the emperor so um, that's a really great follow-up from the conflict energy because the emperor is you know the emperor is all about being in his power um, he's not emotional but he's in control so it looks like, you know, you might have been in quite a lot of sort of emotional, um, heated, sort of fiery energy. Uh, and now you're sort of bringing it back to a place of control and power and inner power for yourself. So the emperor um, is a grounded energy and it actually um, is a really positive uh, yes card. So it really means things are moving in your favor now. So I think you need to, I think the emperor probably is you this week. You need to embody that energy and that's going to help you shift out of this turmoil. So maybe try and be the emperor. You know, he he's not overly emotional. He wears armor underneath his um, cloak there to protect himself. So I think it might be time to um, protect yourself from some of those feelings that you might have been um, feeling lately. Um, the emperor can also... Uh, represent um, an older person, usually male, like a mentor, boss or business partner or somebody like that that could help you with that transition. So, you know, it, the emperor is kind of a, yeah, it's a cautious energy. Um, it's stable and grounded. So I think you need to move into that um, emperor energy this week. And if you do, what's coming in towards the end of the week is the six of pentacles. And the six of pentacles is actually a really beautiful card because it indicates balance. So through embodying that emperor energy, it's going to help bringing you back into balance. And you know, the Six of Pentacles is all about having enough, you've got abundance, so much so that you can share with other people. So yeah, that's a really beautiful omen after this energy here, guys. So time to change, time to get back into your center, ground yourself with that emperor energy and it's going to lead to a much more 
balanced sense of well-being towards the end of the week. So guys, that's your message for this week. Uh, keep in mind it's a general reading. It won't resonate with everybody, but it will for those for whom it is meant. Thanks, Gemini. See you next week.